On Tuesday, the 11th of September, I was installed as the 11th rector of the Church of the Atonement in Edgewater, Chicago. The evening was a glorious celebration as the church was filled with parishioners, family, friends, and fellow clergy from all over the Diocese of Chicago and beyond. Although I had begun serving at Atonement in August, this formal installation was a much anticipated event on our parish calendar. The liturgy for the celebration of new ministry takes a slightly unusual form for the prayer book in that the very first thing that happens before any opening acclamations or prayers is that the church wardens present the new rector to the bishop. On this evening, we were blessed to have not only our diocesan bishop, Jeffrey Lee, as the celebrant for the mass, but also our beloved Bishop Montgomery, who offered the final blessing. Another unique aspect of this liturgy is the presentation of gifts. Following the sermon, representatives of the parish present the rector with gifts that symbolize particular aspects of a rector's ministry. A Bible for preaching, holy oil for anointing, holy water for baptizing, bread and wine, a prayer book, food for outreach, and, at atonement, a rosary to represent this parish's devotion to Our Lady. The musical offering on this evening was particularly stunning as the atonement choirs led by Charles Sega and Christopher Windle offered music by Rafe von Williams, Eric Eschenwald, and one of my favorites, the Baroque composer Jan Dismas Zelenka. The preacher was Father Sean Mullen, a dear friend of mine and the rector of my former parish, St. Mark's, Philadelphia. His sermon was an inspiring reflection on the meaning of the word atonement. And atonement, means just exactly what it says, at one moment. At one moment. You are the church of at one moment. It is truly humbling to be working together with the people of atonement to help bear the fruits of the kingdom of God in our time and place. Will you join me in greeting your new rector? So um, that's that's who you called as your as your eleventh rector. The celebration of new ministry was a perfect example of how all the ministers of this parish, lay and ordained, can work together to mark the beginning of something new and exciting in our mutual ministry. After the mass. The celebration continued in the parish hall with an incredible feast provided by Manny and Owl, our resident chefs, and dozens of generous volunteers. I was so glad for the opportunity to share in smiles and hugs and conversation with friends old and new who had traveled here from near and far. My deepest thanks to all those who prepared for and participated in the evening's worship and celebration. I'm grateful to be looking forward with you to a bright future here at the Church of the Atonement. You are all most welcome to join us as we continue to share our call of at one with God and with our neighbors in Christ's name. Thank you.